All right, so this is me taking out the headliner. I know that there's no video on this part. I'm doing starlights. No one has made a video on this. It's been kind of difficult, but pop it out and there's a clip that connects, uh, where is it? This small piece right here, and you just kind of push it in and then it'll come off. This is your microphone. Second thing is taking out the light. It's just a plug. You just kind of pull it off. There's these two clips. I use a needle nose plier. I squeeze it. And then basically these are the clips that holds it in place. And then you pull it down. Same thing. Then you go on this side. On this side, this looks like this. There's like a clip. Kind of hangs like this. Basically, you have to pop it from the inside out. And then this flat will come down. It'll show a T20. Sorry. T20 and then you unscrew that and then unplug it. Very simple, it's held in by clips. You just have to pop this part off first. And this is on the other side. It look like something like this. Grab a flathead, put it on top and then you flick it off and it comes off. I'm just gonna do this pretty quickly. Same thing, pinch it together. You hear that clip and then it comes off. I was using the trim tool. Stick it in from the side, pop it open. The extension with the T20. I already lost it. This part, you just kind of pull it off. There. The light, basically you pop it off with your finger. You just pull this part. So this part, I think is pretty simple tabs on the side looks good we will set you somewhere that is not dusty so yeah so where i was pulling was right basically you got push these tabs in and it will come out i'm gonna put you back oh again this wire is coming from the middle i'm gonna push this up too so that's done gotta figure out how to take this off is pushing this clip in here. If you look right in there, take your flathead in between on the left side and you push it outwards. We'll do that. All right, so we're gonna do this. Put this right here. Put it, yank it down. Oh, and there we go. See, you see this clip, these clips? Basically you're pushing it inwards so it's not biting on this. Things we need to disconnect. So we gotta disconnect this part. Stick your finger in this tab and pull it out. Okay, so that's out. Careful bending pins. Same thing with this side. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flathead. Just gonna push this tab in and pull it out. There. Nice. I'm gonna explain this real quick. Basically, I put a flathead in this tab right here. Pushed it up. You need both your hands, to be honest. There's like a little lip right here. You put your nail, pull it out a little bit, and then it should come off. After the clip is off, you should be able to wiggle it off. This one is a little bit trickier because it's a tight space. There is on these two tabs. You push it inwards and then you pull it out. Now we gotta take off these, these two like plastic pins. I think these stay and then these slip off this way. Take this trim piece off real quick. So basically pull this down. All right. That should be decent. I don't, we don't have to take off everything, to be honest. Last thing we need to do is go to the back seat. Ooh. Okay. That, that was kind of, yeah, that was easier than I thought. All right, same thing on this side. I'm just gonna pop this out. This is actually the side that we are wiring the wire through. This is the side that I'm gonna run the lines through to the trunk. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. We're done. I wish. Pop that clip. One, two, three. There you go. There's that clip. All right, so there is a T20. All right, so that part is out. So pop to it. You slide it up. Ah, yes. Okay, so two clips after you pry that. Oh, there's a third one. Eight mil. I'm gonna use my fingers. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Yank down. Yes, sir. Okay, so these tabs actually, the headliner is loose now. I'm actually gonna yank this a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, headliner is out. 
slid it out. Pull it over the headliner. Oh, I'm getting crushed. Hey, go, go, go. Rear is collapsing. Headliner out. That is cool. Pull it this way. So we're gonna grab the headliner, uh, rotate it. Tools. Go ahead. Trim tool. Next clip you guys are gonna see is us kind of measuring out where we're gonna cut and what we're gonna, how we're gonna do everything. You'll just start watching us poke holes. 750 holes. Poke, poke, poke. We're gonna poke some holes in this. I'm doing it in sections. I'm doing it in six squares. This is the front. This is the back. I'm gonna start the time lapse of me stabbing each hole for the glue. We're gonna be using this Gorilla here. We're gonna use this rather than hot glue. This tool to snip all the ends. Pick tools to stab the holes. Let me walk you guys through what we got. Basically, everything's gonna come out of this. Little screws, and we also have the splitter to connect the meteorite and the, this light box together. This right here will be the meteorite. The shooting stars will be on this one. The rolls for the fibers. We also got another one in here and the starlights. Uh, this one will be the starlight one. Each one has five, as you guys can see, planned it. Basically, we'll have 50 extras. Each square will have 110 fibers in there. Yep, 110. Might have to drill it. I also got drill bits. We're going to start on that now. Have the marker to mark all our holes we also did the star lights all around here as well we stabbed each and every hole now we have to put the fibers through the holes we're gonna route it that way and we'll split it all up it should be good done we're just putting in the shooting stars right now we're on the seventh one how we're doing it is by each one so right now we're on the seventh one we're just doing one by one it is done finished putting the last strands everything is glued the problem that has been going on is that you have to put enough glue where fibers won't pull out it was moving so i had to re-glue a lot of them hopefully i didn't miss any <laughs> everything should be glued down every hole every single one again i'll check tomorrow before i install it just so i can make sure that everything is set in stone <sighs> Today we are installing the headliner back. Situation is, I thought there was enough room where the wire can slip in. It'll be easier if I show you guys what I'm talking about. So basically, right here in the corner, there's not enough room in that corner. I should have checked before I did all this, but it is what it is. I am going to take off the trim. The just so I can kind of figure out how I'm going to route the wire back. This is how we are going to connect it. It's through this port. I'm going to actually splice this wire. This wire is actually for my Valtronic. I'm going to splice it to the battery. And this port is going to be dedicated for the Starlight. 
Yeah, I might have to cut something in here or I just cut the wire and leave the box right here. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet or maybe just hide everything in there. Hopefully there's enough room. There's this hook inside. Damn. Look who pulled up. What up? Sheesh. Quiet. Super quiet now, super sad. I ended up taking out the door panel off, or not the door panel, the back. Let me show you guys real quick what we did. Um, this is that you know soft cushion right here, and then there's a piece right here. It's plastic. So you gotta take all this off. Now my wires are running through this channel, but there is no place to put it on this side. I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna take out the seats as well. I'm gonna just speed everything up. Four bolts at the bottom. Take off the plug that connects your seat, and that's it. So taking out the seats, it would be a T50. Eight mils to take off that plastic piece on top of your seatbelt. Move it back and forth, and then disconnect it at the bottom. There's a yellow clip. I'll show you guys after I take it out. I think I'm only gonna take the passenger side off because it'll just be a lot easier. There's a little tab right here. You push this tab and then push this forward. It should unclip it, and then you can pull it out. I have all the fibers right now. One of the fatter fibers, I routed it up from the top and down from the bottom. And then I wired the shooting stars and one of the wires under this brown wire behind everything and behind this bracket. So now we are gonna lift this up and try to screw everything in. This one about go to this side, like that. This one about go up. What I ended up doing is use command strips. And I had these left over when I was building my PC. These were for cable management, but these have Velcro. So I used one of these to hold the wire onto the side. I put command strips on this side of it. I put three and then two small ones on top, just so it's all compact onto that side. This wire was a bit too long, so I started tucking it this way. This wire was too short, so that's why it's in this orientation. My original plan was to keep it down here, but the wires was too short, so I had to do this looks kind of weird but i don't think anyone else is gonna see inside right. we are done are done yo this looks crazy i don't know if you guys can tell but yo this looks sick crazy 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 here's the remote shooting stars going faster looks really good it looks sick looks really good Almost 800 stars, 780, I believe. The meteorite. Build everything up, even under the visor. You guys can see a smiley face. Back here, it's a bit tight on the pillar, so it's kind of like off a little bit, but overall, I would say it's a success helped me throughout this whole starlight couldn't do it without her this sh is too much work i'm telling you if i had to do it again i will not do it but if you guys want to do it go for it you know from the outside i don't believe you can really see it mm, a little bit depending where you're at yo it looks so good We're complete with stage one on the looks. Everything done from the lip, fangs, hood, roof, 
side skirt, diffuser, star lights, mirror caps, with sequentials, everything looks really good. I'm super, super tired. It's been a long couple of months, but at the end of the day, everything turned out really good, really nice. Love how everything looks. I'll show you guys in the daytime how it looks. You guys can kind of see it. Just to wrap up this video, I just want to show you guys what it looks like during the day. Couple things what I did and what I would recommend you guys is that plan, plan, plan. Planning is the number one thing that I would recommend people. Without good planning, you will hate doing these starlights. I promise you. I planned, but I didn't plan to the extent where my problem was I did not plan out which hole and where I'm gonna wire the fibers through, if that makes sense. I just assumed in my head that I'm gonna put it on this side and it'll be perfect. There will be a hole waiting for me. That wasn't the case. I should have planned it a lot better for putting it back. I planned out how many stars and where I'm gonna poke all these holes, but I did not plan out where I'm gonna wire these optics. Little like teasers. I have smiley faces under the visors this one is kind of dim can't really see it it's just winking at you <laughs> there's that and there is i don't even know constellations that's one and then there's another one right here uh, i can't really see this one those are my like hidden features if i were to redo this again i would plan out and design a design Raymond just got here but I will catch you guys on the next video I hope you guys enjoyed all of these mods that I have done with the M2 plenty more to come this is just phase one of the cosmetics I'll catch you guys on the next one I hope you guys enjoy this video deuces